everyone. So today we are going to discuss this position and it's why to play and mate here. I mean mate you can say it's a lot of moves to go. Uh, it's a major 15 basically and it's a very complicated one. So even the engine gets confused at times and if you immediately put it uh, to the engine it will show that for some time black it's plus 0 0.2. Suddenly it will show minus 2, minus 4, then plus 5, plus 7, mate, in 11, 12, whatever move you put. But my engine, I had already put this analysis as an analysis to the, in a, a long time, yeah? The engine can calculate it very well now. So that's why the engine is completely showing it why it is winning. But let's keep the engine aside. And what do you see here? Black is two rooks up. Plus this bishop is attacking the queen. So what is the obvious move? Queen g3. But, oh, engine drops. Minus 13. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Sorry, but engine is right. Because the f6, it lost. But the winning move here is none other than the crazy move knight f6. And now to see it, if you were to take it, point being I'm giving a check, you have to block, I'll just simply take, king h8 and bishop into f6 is a brutal checkmate. Only way, only option now here, other than to take is uh, king h8. Uh, and here, uh, you do not obviously, uh, uh, obviously do not take the queen because the queen is also hanging. So, queen e4 or greatly moved by white. And here, what do you do? If you want to play bishop f5, queen into f5 is lost also. g6 only where to stop. And now, obvious move. 98, yeah, but I'm sorry, that's 98 is losing. Engine is once more correct. We have to c3, bishop e2, bishop d4, crazy move, take rook, take queen f3. I'm just picking up a knight, and I have too many pieces here yeah. two rooks, and a knight, and a pawn for this one lonely queen. So, in this position, you do not take it, but you go in a four. Very crazy move, right? Tough, but if you were to think, maybe you could find it. And now, what do you do? Your queen is hanging, threat of checkmate incoming. So, black tries a nice idea. Rook d1, bishop e2, queen d8. And now, okay, the move is highlighted already but no props queen at six is the move and yeah i mean you are obviously going to find this because putting this bishop in danger is no problem it's just a bishop and you don't have to bring your queen back by instead block with your bishop and now the only way by which black can delay this checkmate um, is by going queen into c2 king into c2 and bishop f5 now, in this version, there are numerous ways to win it, but the fastest way to win this position is by going to the B square by moving your king to the side. And now black gives a check on d4, king a3, bishop c5, and remember not to go, um, d4 is winning, yeah, but not to go king e5 because your b5 is a brutal checkmate. So, bishop c5, and the only, I mean, the fastest win is b4 here. I, I mean, eventually you had to play it. So, bishop into b4, king b2, and now all these long diagonal checks are cut off, and white is just gonna make a uh, pawn check, black, and white saves kind his king on the corner. Now, how do you stop this mate? The point being now, all this mate can be stopped by this one move g5 and protecting this is also protected 
and basically now is the final blow I write to make the black king which is knight h5 rook g8 queen f6 rook g7 and queen to g7 is a check mate and the puzzle comes to an end on the 15th move and I hope you enjoyed this video and do like, share and comment this video and also subscribe to the channel if you have not done till now. So stay tuned for more such content and thank you for watching this video.